What's up, fellow Lords of Gaming, and welcome back to Marvel Future Fight. So just a quick update for you guys. <sighs> Man, one of the best events that I've seen in a long while has uh, basically been pushed into Marvel Future Fight. It's a crafting event. We've gotten previous crafting events, but I think this one's like a little bit better than other ones because I don't think the rewards have been of the scale that these have. Um, we're basically getting CTPs of insight that you can basically craft this event. The event's going to run all the way to 10, 7, 759. Um, very easy. You're going to collect colorful leaves. So it's a nice autumn themed event um, by completing dispatch and demission missions. You can get various growth materials from the foliage chest and the craft a CTP of insight using those. So let's take a look at the event real quick. Um, like I said, normally these crafting events, when they do come around, I don't think that Netmarble utilizes them enough. Um, it would be great to see them do this maybe like once a quarter. Um, I think it would be a great way to generate sales and things like that. But yeah, so basically you're going to come over here. You can either go through the crafting event tab or straight through the craft event. And you're going to have a number of things. A, you got to collect these green leaf foliages, these yellow leaf foli foliages. Uh, these leaves and then you got to collect the orange ones as well uh the green leaf chest uh doesn't have a whole lot inside of it just you know some simple crafting materials um bam you know uh Mkron shards and phoenix feathers things like that nothing of importance so you're really not going to want to spend um any of your green leaves on these to, uh, until like after you do the other the other events right like that's essentially what you're going for now you can use your green leaves to craft yellow leaves. So that's the way it works, right? So green leaves can be crafted to make yellow leaves. Yellow leaves can be crafted to make orange leaves. That's the kind of deal. So at first you can get your CTP of insight by going on your green leaves. I would say um, it, there's a couple of paths that you could take for this in, in order to get after it. The green leaves are pretty easy to obtain. Your yellow, your red leaves that you're going to need for the other rewards are going to be a little bit more difficult. So you can see, for instance, here, in order to craft orange leaves, you need 100 yellow leaves. So you see how it's starting to get a little bit harder to acquire some of these, right? Then you can see that here, the green leaf fall crafting, you, got, you can craft down if you want to. So like once you have a lot of yellow leaves left over, then you can use those yellow leaves to craft green leaves and go back. This is why I'm saying like you might want to work up the scale to a mass amount of leaves to get towards the higher tier rewards first and then come back down because you can basically dismantle higher tier leaves for lower tier leaves and go after that. So you get your yellow leaf chest inside of here, basically 10 of those and it nets you some uh, tier, tier three uh, component packs, essence of dimension and Titan component packs. Now. I think there are far better ways to earn these and to spend your time than to come inside here and go for these type of items, uh, specifically play story mode. Um, so I would not go after the yellow leaf chest, get what I'm saying? So then you get the mighty CTP of insight. So 10 of these yellow leaf chests basically gets you a chance at these. You basically get a craft count success on this once, right? So like it's just one time that you get it and you're done. That doesn't mean that you have a full success chance on getting that mighty CTP of insight, which is why I'm saying you might want to wait and store up some of these leaves to get after the higher tier, right? So you can see over here, you get the green leaf crafting event, right? So spending, eight, you if you get these orange leaves, right, which I have eight of them, you can spin those and dismantle those to get green leaves, right? So then you got your dimension chest and you can see these red leaves are inside of here. Obviously your dimension chest CTP includes all of the CTPs currently in the game with the exception of the CTP of conquest, still not inside of uh, inside any of the boxes are available, right? And then you can see over here, you get the brilliant CTP of insight, right? And basically one of these orange leaves basically enables you a chance at getting the brilliant CTP of insight. Notice down here, it says it's success chance that the crafting can fail. So 1% success rate. So every day, what you can do is you can utilize your, um, your, your C, your CCF, your co uh, cosmic cube fragments to basically craft, um, you know, orange fall leaves. So you can see here, you've got basically, I don't know why they did it like this, but whatever it is, what it is. 
but you have these and you have a certain amount of opportunities basically to craft a ct uh, rnctp leaf and you know if you happen to have any red seats red leaves then you can craft those inside there so this is going to be the easiest way for you to get after your dimension ctp chest the brilliant ctp of insight um i've got eight chances right now where i could try to pop a brilliant ctp of insight um, so I'll actually show you that right now. So we'll go the max that we have is eight of them. It's going to cost me 2.8 million to get that. Um, and then you can see here, this is a red leaf. So let's try to craft that. I, I really prefer to have these, but I'm just going to do it for the, do it for the witch call. Let's see what we get. All fails. So this is the reason why, like you can see, like, so you're going to be basically coming here every day with the hope that you craft these. I think they ran one craft event like this before and I didn't, I wasn't able to get it, but I think most players will probably end up with that CTP, with the, uh, with the brilliant CTP. It's a great CTP. So you should be, you should be aiming for these. And then your second event that you want to be aiming for, obviously, is these red, uh, you know, the, the red, uh, the red leaves so i would be building up for these items so that way you know you can basically get them because you really are going to want these um orange leaves inside of here so that way you're, you're good to go the orange leaf crafting is going to be hard uh just because you have to accumulate so many of the yellow which means that you have to accumulate the green leaves so that way you can craft some of these events now what are the ways that you can earn these uh yellow uh leaves and so, so forth right so the red ones specifically inside of here, you can see where those are, right? Dimension chest CTP. So let's go over here back inside of dimension rifts and uh, dimension chest. So, <clears throat> so the first way that you can go inside here and you can get these is dimension missions. For the time that they're gonna be there, you can see in the event that there's gonna be enough of these green uh, fall leaf crafting events. And basically there's not a lot of reason depending on your, your support level to go past the 480 total mark inside here. So that's this last contribution chest that you're gonna go because the, the rewards around this are pretty diminishing. Um, so like going to get that green leaf. So that's not gonna be the mode in which you really wanna farm. The mode that you're gonna want to farm in order to ensure that you can get these up is going to be your dispatch missions so you're going to pop over to dispatch missions and depending on your stage and level clear where you are you want to find a comfortable place inside of your stages that you can clear so like for me it's sitting right around here about 12 3 right and so inside here you can see that hey there's orange crafting there's orange uh leaves there's uh yellow leaves and there's green leaves that are available to to you to do this what i would suggest that you do is you literally start this puppy up and just let it run and so i would sit this overnight let it run get as many ctp as you can and you're good to go now the reason why i say D dimension mission is a better place for you to go is because essentially you have the ability to maybe like really you're not going to probably get them but if you do then you do and you get really lucky um but you can get other items in games like you know enchanted uru comet cards uh iso 8 and even some ctps so like if for instance if i was to hop over into section uh section sector 13 right and you were to look at some of the items they're there available to you as well then you can have those items so like depending on the level that you can comfortably clear because remember you have a time limit on all of these missions find a level that you can clear use your energy that you have remaining from the day and just let it run now daily there's this is the one time where i would say like traditionally that you have inside the game where if you have like the pop-ups for energy, for instance, get some more energy is like 999 or you have alternative means to get energy. This is probably the time that you want to be getting energy. Like you really, really want to be, you know, getting as much of those materials as you can. So that way you can go in there and you can uh, you, you can run those missions over and over. Highly important. I know Snick Alex, I watched the video that he did the other day. He put out a video of how he gets his energy. Mostly dispatch mission is the best way to get those. Like, you know, if you clear enough dispatch dispatch missions, um, in your game and 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 you you're able to acquire these rewards when you acquire them you have the ability to get energy i routinely get at least at a minimum 250 energy from having these cleared out um you know like it's a really good event basically to do that so you definitely want to go through that 
Now, inside the store, just so you are aware, um, depending on how your pockets shake, I don't want to judge your pockets for you. They do have item crafting event packs inside the store. So here you go. You can see it here. You can for $9.99, you get 300 crystals, you get nine, uh, 10 red leaves, you get some CTP of reforging and you get a million gold. The million gold is like a, it says it's a bonus, but it's a million gold. It's, a million gold is not going to really do much for you, but you can see that it's 10 of these red leaves, right? So. Um, if you go over to the crafting event back inside here, you can see that I need 20 of these red leaves in order to get to this dimension chest CTP. So that weight of that 999 is going to change based on you. And what I mean by that is essentially, you know, to get that, <laughs> it's a dimension chest. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hate to say that. So it's, um, it's a dimension chest. So, you know, it, it's not a selector. I, I guess is the best way I'm trying to say that it's it you know there's no guarantee that you're essentially gonna get that uh, a good CTP from here you could end up with a CTP of of refinement you could end up with a CTP well you know I guess CTP of transcendence you get I guess these are I mean there's others in here that have lost their weight and value like I I always hate seeing you know patience refinement transcendence or greed at this point and and to be honest with you some of the others have fallen off as well so um you could end up with one of those so you have to really weight the value of what you see not to mention you notice that it's going to basically take you twenty dollars to basically run the the ctp inside here anyways you know what i mean you can change the materials you notice here to the orange leaf as well um so that way instead of having that to be crafted so i'm really thankful that they gave a free to play option way of doing this so you can basically jump inside here and you can go orange now obviously you know that's going to be a determinant for you if you want to use your orange leaves for the brilliant ctp of insight for the one percent chance that you do get it or the chance that you don't get it because notice that there is no probability of success it's basically 20 leaves of the red and you get um the dimension chest of ctp so traditionally if you were to go inside here inside the store for instance right and you were to say like if i was going to do a dimension chest roll and i really wanted a ctp inside of here you know 675 crystals is the chance but realistically you're you're banking on the guaranteed success of this. So it's about 6,750 crystals that you're looking at getting. 6,750 crystals in this game is basically $67, 6,500 uh, 6, crystals or, you know, 60 something dollars to get a CTP. Whereas they're giving you the opportunity here to basically for $20 pay for a CTP uh, to, to pay for a, a chance at a CTP. Now, what CTP you get? I don't know. It, I would have I would have preferred that this would have been a guaranteed CTP selector event. But, you know, hey, probabilities there and not to mention they added a free to play option as well by you just getting 20 of these orange feathers. You've got 16 days. And this is why I say your energy is going to be really, really important. Right. Because you want to basically be inside of dispatch mission and running this as much as possible. I, I am not kidding you. This is one of the better events for you to acquire things. Um, these CTP of insights are great on any of your support type characters or your leadership support type characters that you're not using but playing with your team they provide a very very good uh boost for your for your characters overall on the team and they're one of those ctps that you know most of your ctps only affect you know your one character so they only benefit you know that character that you equip that ctp on in the first place this ctp is like the second best thing to beefing up your comic cards and your uh extra swords or your shield archive because it affects the entire team that you're playing with um huge benefit to these characters that's the reason why a lot of the support type characters like silver fox shuri and you know the others are paywalled um so I would have at this crafting event don't forget that the cosmic core event is up just to just brag and flex on you guys i got lucky i don't know how i got lucky but i rolled into a ctp of rage so <laughs> we'll acquire that on here um it's just excellent I i'm happy about that because it's a good reward basically and it's one of those things like if you get lucky you get lucky and you you can't complain because the game's basically giving you something free for nothing and you know with t'challa i've been playing with uh black panther for a little bit now i wanted to come back and do a follow a uh, final follow-up video final thought on on the character um 
I really feel like his rotation and his skills, it did just feel a little off to me. And I feel like he's going to be better suited for a CTP of Rage than he is going to be for like a CTP of Energy. Something about the way his procs hit. Maybe it's just the way I play. I'm not really like one of the top level, you know, players. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of the, these elite players. I, I, I feel like I'm an average Marvel Future Fight player and I can't seem to get his CTP completely down. So you know hey ctp of rage in my pocket i ain't complaining about it from a cosmic core event but make sure you're running that and this gives you even more incentive basically because the cosmic core event is going on at the same time as this get in there and run these uh dim dimensions like literally just leave it on rotate and let it go you know what i mean i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are enjoying the event inside of here if you need additional information on how the event works because i didn't explain it appropriately to you they've got all the information on the uh on on the on the site you can see here you've got the crap crafting event pack that, that I showed you. And then you've got the notes for the special events that are currently going on in the game, uh, along with a little bit of information about the, uh, about the, uh, um, the, the crafting event. So you can see here, green leaves can basically be converted hundred realms to yellow leaves. Green leaf time tens can be used for the green leaf chest and green leaf time tens can be used. So that way you can get the CTP of insight at a probability success. You get one and then your yellow leaves can get you a mighty CTP. So you can only get one. And then your orange leaves can be used for the brilliant and the uh, dimension chest CTP. 16 days, guys, 16 days. Get after it. You're really going to want to basically make sure that you're playing this as much as possible. So don't forget about it until next time, guys. Peace.